I've, I, I just forgot to start recording, by the way. So, about six minutes into the stream. Ollivander is missing! If you've seen the movie, you pretty much know what's going on. I don't think there's much book exclusive shit in this like there is in Order of the Phoenix. I can't really remember anything. Oh yeah, you have to fucking do... You have to do a fucking Quidditch minigame before you start the actual game. I forgot about that. I hate, I hate, hate, hey, hate, Harry. hate that. Hi, Ginny. I hate that the game forces Harry, you to fucking chosen. start off a fucking Gryffindor. Quidditch, a Quidditch game. Come on, Mr. Chosen One. But I am the Chosen room. One. Thanks. Okay, let's do it, I guess. Oh, it's inverted flight controls. Hang on. Inverted controls are a joke, change my mind. Anyway, welcome to the Quidditch minigame. This is the first thing the game forces you to play, and I hate it. And you don't even get to dueling and potions and all the other shit you can do until way later. Order of the Phoenix had a, the leg up of being, um... It had wizard chess. It was kind of slow, though. I played a bit of a chess last time I played Order of Phoenix. I can't really remember anything else Order of Phoenix had over half of Roots. But overall, this is an infinitely superior game. So don't worry about it. You know, I just... I, I said before, it's like Order of Phoenix had a lot of book-exclusive shit that was in the movies. It did, the game didn't even have the bit of Harry freaking out in Dumbledore's office, so I can't even give it that much credit, to be honest. Oop, I forgot the Weasleys had their own Quidditch pitch. Jesus, fucking don't hit things, thanks, Genie. Don't die, by the way, guys. Don't die. If you're living, if you're alive, don't die. Nah, this is scripted, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, I'm pretty sure there's no way to fucking... I'm pretty sure there's no way to get the snitch faster than you meant to. Yeah! That was brilliant! Slytherin don't stand a chance! I don't Why care. Do Could it just like them? one of my least? I don't care about flying in Harry Potter. There's all sorts of other magic I give a genuine shit about, and flying is just not really one of them. Ron and Hermione should be around here somewhere. Oh yeah, this bit where Harry's like, mmm, <laughs> and Ginny's like, why'd you look at me like that? <laughs> I don't know. I always remember that because it, this is like one of the first things you see in the game. All right, here we go. We get to do basic magic now. When did you get here? About half an hour ago. Didn't Ron tell you? You just got here and decided to word, fucking play Quidditch? Oh, that one smells far worse than the others. Oh yeah, also like a lot of the facial animations are complete garbage. And so is a lot of the dialogue. Well done. And then I drop that and all the others, yeah. Oh no. Moving them must have said The music's about. also not Quick, great. Chuck them in the pond! You can't throw them in there. Save them washing them. Who knows our friend George Mixon Why is this there? acting out a bit Just think of the faster the looking fish. than it should be? <laughs> oh my god, the fucking well, facial animation's borderline disgusting in this resolution. Maybe they'll fall in love with you. Hermione. I love you. Oh, I love yes, you, Hermione. Oh, blub, blub. Come on, Harry. Let's get rid of those cauldrons before Mum starts moaning. Morning, that's all, my friend. I know how to play the game. I've been doing it for a bit. Also, that washing machine is from the Chamber of Secrets game. I'm, I'm pretty confident. Great. Let's get. Okay. Get out of here, cauldrons. Molly would go off her head at him. Mum would have made us clean those out by hand. We'd have still been scrubbing them at Christmas. If no, I'd fucking get angry at you for doing that. Are you kidding me? I tell you to clean the cauldrons and you throw them in my fucking fish pond. You bet your ass would be fucking pissed at you. Oh yeah, it skips through a lot of content. This is... This is Malfoy becoming a Death Eater. And Harry's like, Draco's becoming a Death Eater. And everyone's like, well, no. What are you Why talking about? Draco sneaking around? I don't know, but that leads to Borgen and Burks. Nothing good happens in Borgen and Burks, Drake that's just a fact. Oh yeah, the invisibility cloak effect here is garbage. It's You'll see it in a second. Ceremony. Why would you know who make that idiot a Death Eater? Why else would Malfoy be in Borgen and Burks? I'm going to find out. And if I use the invisibility cloak, he'll never know I was listening Watch. in. Watch, really? the, watch what happens when he does this. Yeah, perfectly invincible. 
half of his model isn't even hidden. <laughs> Perfectly invisible. And Draco, for some reason, is just like... Invisibility cloak? You go on. I want to check something. Petrificus Totalus! See, at least in the movie, it explains it like... Sneaking about uh, listening Draco anyway, sees Potter. Harry, like, accidentally bump a bag above him. I knew I'd seen someone Here it's just there. straight up well, like, hang on, enjoy the trip there's someone invisible London. there, Potter. and that's it. And then that's enough for Draco just to fucking see him. And then Luna finds him. Because oh. of the Rex bits. Hello, Harry. What are you doing down there? I don't know how you knew it was Harry. You just see Rax Burtz. I don't know how what you knew it was Harry. I was trying to find out what Malfoy's up to. I'm sure he's a Death Eater. I was wearing my invisibility cloak. <laughs> he must have seen me when I climbed onto the luggage. Just room. tell everybody. My... What? I think Draco's a Death Eater. Just goes up to anyone in school. Set. You can see Rax through them. That's how I found you. Your brain's full of... Your brain's right. full of retarded pixies, the by the way. We're probably already in trouble for being late. Okay. Although I'm worried about tripping over things in the dark. Oops. Maybe we should use Luma. Maybe we should use a spell we learned in our first fucking year. Maybe. Alright. Now it's time to get into the meat and potatoes of Hoplet Prince. Here's how experience points works. These things. <coughs> this is experience points. Those crest things, also experience points. Well, no, a crest is a whole level, technically. Because the more you collect, you get, like, perks and shit. Whereas these mini things, if you collect enough of these mini things, you just get one whole of these. So, yeah, you get, like, bonus perks, like, stronger dueling spells, or, like, faster potions, I don't know. You get a lot of them at the start. But there, as you can see, there's a lot of them to find. And crests are static, they're hidden everywhere, basically. Also, you can just get a huge load of experience for no reason. Yep, it'll explain it. And so, I don't know why I'm fucking doing the tutorial, it's job. Some crests are, uh, require, like, specific spells to get them. Like Incendio and stuff, which we'll get later. There's plenty of crests. And there we go, we just earned enough to get a whole one. This kind of makes it stand out from, um, Order of the Phoenix, because in Order of the Phoenix, to get, like, the discovery points, it was just an utter pain in the ass. Because, uh, <laughs> if you've played Order of the Phoenix, you'll, you'll know, it just feels better to do this, because here you just go, dee -dee, and just pick it up. But in Order of the Phoenix, it did encourage finding, like, hidden secrets of the castle, like, finding, refinding the Chamber of Secrets was just like, oh, hey, you... You know where this is, you get, you get fucking points. So that, that encourages like more exploration, like more intense exploration. Whereas this game just encourages like, look around. If you see something glow, tap it. If you see something like that, pick it up. Like, it's, it's certainly a downgrade in terms of a uh, whimsy, I guess is the word. Like just making you want to discover shit. Whereas this is just get experience points, win game. Is there a rock around or something? Oh, there's a pumpkin. That'll that'll be close enough. Come on, Hagrid. Give me that fucking... Nope. Luna, ignore me. I'm currently trying to get... Excuse me? There we go. There we go. I don't normally get that one. I normally leave it alone for later, but I just remembered that the pumpkins exist. Let's get this one. There we go. Let's go to the castle. Let's go to the castle. Let's go to the castle. That's a lot of them. We're gonna miss the feast. Oh no, wait, no, we don't miss the feast. Actually, we miss the sorting hat poem that that happens every year. We missed the first years being sorted, and that's about it. But we will get the food. Pretty hard to miss. Yeah, see? We just leveled up, technically. We, we now have more health in dueling. Congratulations. Which is why you should just hunt these things down any way you can. They're fairly easy to find. Oh yeah, Dumbledore's model is fucked out of cutscenes. It's great.
As you know, each day, dark forces are attempting, attempting to penetrate this castle. For this reason, I have agreed that the Dueling Club will restart this year. Now, please what join me in welcoming Horace Slughorn, Ugh. who will resume his old I just scoffed in the whole energy drink camp. Meanwhile, the position of defense against the Dark Arts teacher will be assumed Should by... Professor Snape. Professor Snape. No! How could Dumbledore let him after all he's done? After all he's done what? Like, do nothing but good things? Like, what are you referring to there, Harry? What's he done? What, what's he done? <laughs> well, there's one good thing. The defense against the dark arts jobs jinxed. Snape will be gone by the end of the year, and personally, well, I'm keeping my fingers crossed for another death. He'll be gone by the end of next I year. I thought you would be at potions, Mr. Potter. Or is it no longer your ambition to become an aura? I was told I had to get an outstanding in my OWL. And so you did when Professor Snape was teaching the subject. But Professor Slughorn is perfectly happy to accept students with exceeds expectations at OWL, however. Brilliant. I'll head there straight away. That's just pretty much what happens in the movies. I don't do potions. I'm dead awful at potions. So potions is like the probably the don't most fun mini game in this entire all. game. I'd ask nearly had to sneak. And unfortunately we don't have access around, to all the mechanics of it. Us. Hey Nick. Harry Bloody hell. And how are we this new Okay. Hang on. Oh. There's not many charms, and we can't access the dueling menu just yet. Okay. All fired up and ready to win the Quidditch Cup for Gryffindor again, I hope. Yeah, but right now I need yeah, to sure. Do you know a way around these security arrangements? But of course, just follow me. This is also a step up from Order of the Phoenix having the Marauders map be your way around, whereas in this game, the Marauders map is just like kind of uh, you unlocking shit. Oh, hang on, we have to get that crest. Hey, have a chair. That worked. I didn't expect it to. Okay, let's go, Nick. And as I, was, as I said in the Order of the Phoenix playthrough, this, this game's a... Uh, the... what's it called? What is it, what's the staircase? The Grand Staircase is much kinder in this game than it is in Order of the Phoenix. Because in this game, it's like, it, it'll almost always do what you want, but in Order of the Phoenix, like there, see? But in Order of the Phoenix, it will constantly fuck you over. But I did say, like, it constantly fucking you over is technically more accurate than it helping you more. So, you know, do you want it to be more accurate to the lore, or do you want, do you want to get fucked, basically? Thank you, Nick, I think. Well, it can't be that f far. Can't be that far out. Oh yeah, there they are. I knew it, fellas. There we go. Like actually, the the puzzles for finding some of the crests with, with like charms around just around the school are genuinely kind of fun, and like you have to think. Like there's some puzzles where it's just straight up like you have to. You have to break the crest, and then, like, get it out of where it is, and then repair it, and then you can have it. Which is kind of in- which is kind of cool. Can I have this one, speaking of? Please? Thank you. Fuck me. Go away. I want the crest. I- I didn't even know it was up there, but I'm glad I looked. I don't know when the next level up is. I know there's one right here. Yeah, this is one we have to repair. Hang on, let me just... Alright, see you. <laughs> so we can't get to it just yet. Let's just hop these as we're going. Also, if we run into someone, we're just gonna... Yeah, do that. Hey, that's a lot. That's big money. And then there's one right here. Yes, it is, Nick. I'm glad you pointed it out for me when I didn't need it to be pointed out. Also, I know there's one here. Besides that one. Or am I thinking of... No, I can't be thinking of Order of the Phoenix, because Order of the Phoenix doesn't have... Chris. <clears throat> okay, come here. I need you for a second. Yeah, there it is. Okay, I need this, like, up here. 
Also, like Order of Phoenix, this game has portraits that lead to different shortcuts, but you don't need to use them nearly as often, and so you won't hear, like, they have repeating uh, voice lines, but n not as few. So, it won't drive you as, as insane. Here we go. I knew this one was here too. They're quite bound. They're quite plentiful at the start of the game, but then as you find, like, you'll be relying more on mini crests than anything, which is why I'm just tapping everyone I see as I go. Because eventually you'll stop seeing them as frequently. And you kind of need to level up a little bit just to, like, improve your dueling spells and stuff. I don't know if they do anything else. I, I'm pretty sure. <laughs> I, I don't actually know. I'm pretty sure they're just for dueling spell shit. I love Nick. You you fucking talk shit about Nick. If I was in Hogwarts and you talk shit about Nick in front of me, I'd smack your shit in. It's like, hey, you'd be fucking thankful we got Nick. I I mean, I'm I'm a Hufflepuff, so we've got the fucking fat friar. So. I mean, the friar's okay. He's jolly. Sorry, we're late, sir. And I'm afraid Ron and I haven't got books yet. I wouldn't like to have the Bloody Baron, and uh, Helena Ravenclaw literally doesn't speak to anybody, so kind of boring. But she's kind of more like, you know, pensive and wise, and it's like, ooh, I wonder what she's thinking, ooh. Think it's a cure for boils? Oh no. That's later. Witch sharpening? And Hermione's like, it's a second year potion or something. Fourth year, yeah. Harry, <laughs> how are you this bad at potion making? Anyway, welcome to the potion minigame. This shit is like the best. I, I adore this minigame. This is like god tier good. We don't currently have access to all the mechanics. We do later. And I spent like hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of hours in this minigame alone. When I was a kid and I played this game. Cause the smoke. There you go. And then, yeah. And alright, let's, uh, go. We'll get more and more mechanics that we have to play with as we go, but for now we've just got poor, basically. There are definitely days I could do with some of this. Is this just basically caffeine? Like, as you go along with the added mechanics and shit, you actually have to, like, start planning ahead of yourself. Which actually- which makes it kind of fun. Yeah, we're done. <laughs> it's beginner's luck. Please. Beginner. Well done, my boy. Well done, my boy. Now we have our juices flowing. Let us turn to the cure for boils. Hermione. What's this one? Oh, Harry, and she's like, it's a first a year potion. potion. Have you forgotten all your efficiency? Harry just is retarded with potions. Yeah, here we go. Now we got heat. There's also stirring and shaking the bottle and other stuff later on. And also like adding individual um, pieces of stuff. Like flux weed, boom slang skin, lace swing flies. Oh no, we're making apologies potion. And we're done. That's pretty much heating, I'm pretty sure. Yeah. After after this, all the tutorials are like less than ten seconds or something. A hot little potion, this one. At least it is in the making of it. But be careful not to let things get too hot. A hole in your cauldron can be expensive and painful. Cleaning cauldrons must be such an arse ache. Put it down. So this is that planning ahead shit I was talking about earlier. Oh no. So like, I notice I'm gonna need that blue bottle later. So, I like being able to plan ahead. Ex oh, it goes pink. That's right, okay. And now I know I need that green one later, so I just highlight over the green one. Oops, I'm gonna need this one later, so I highlight over that one and go blue. This game's fun. Uh, this one? Harry, even if it was attached to the snake, you can speak snake. What? Oh. 
Red is for beginners. Heat until the potion goes pink. That's just a student's notes. It can't be the proper way to make it, or they would have printed it. <laughs> I love Harry here. Yeah, but... Well, I'm gonna try these notes. <laughs> Just in spite, he's like, you know what? Fuck you, Hermione. I will try these notes. No, no basis to do it other than just fuck you, Hermione. And we're done. Hilarious. This game's. I, I, I love this game personally. Not bad at all. My, 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 Harry. Pink. Uh, yes. I must have. No, no. Red is, of course, the basic potion. But pink, excellent. Uh, excuse me. A master potion maker. You should be ready for something a little more complicated. Uh, yes. Excuse me. Let Fuck. Try the, the draft. draft of living I'm pretty sure it's a poison. I told you to make it go pink. Sir, you haven't told us what's in that little. Oh yeah, Felix Felicis is like here. What you see here is Felix Felicis, more commonly known as Liquid Luck. One yep. sip and you will find all your endeavors to Don't overdose on it. And this I offer today to the students. If you can an acceptable draft of living death, a small vial of liquid luck. So How hard would it have been to make that? To oh I know, it, it's it's incredibly difficult to make it. To you. No, thank you. My instructions are perfectly adequate. Suit yourself. Fucking stubborn cunt. Fuck you, Hermione. You're such a know it all. Okay, uh, nope. This is a superfluous bean, apparently. Okay, good to know. Uh, we're gonna need this in a second. Here we go. Okay. You're doing very well, my boy. Now this one. I know when to stop. Fucking pouring because my controller vibrates. By the way, otherwise uh, I have no idea how you'd be able to tell on just the keyboard and mouse. And I wouldn't know how to tell if my controller didn't vibrate. If I'm being perfectly honest. Woo! There we go. We do it. I'm pretty fucking good at this mini game by now. Excellent, Harry. It's clear you've inherited your mother's talent. Yeah, Lily was pretty fucking good at potions. But this Lily was pretty yes, fucking good at potions. And charms. And generally everything really. Lily was just good. And James was a cunt and I don't like him really. Harry Potter? Harry He's not talking Potter. About He's not talking about a daily profit, and he won't give you his autograph. To clear off Pipsqueak. Don't speak no. for me, Ron, you We've idiot. To join the Gryffindor Dueling Club in the Great Hall. Oh, we get to duel now. I get to show you how Thanks, meaningless sorry. dueling is in this game and how just Professor dead Bonner easy it is. I tell you there's a shortcut to the Great Hall behind that portrait. The password is Libraries Liberate. I mean, du dueling in Order of the Phoenix game was garbage. Like, utter garbage, and I hated it. It just wasn't fun. At least in here, it's fun. But it is easy. Oh. Oh shit, I wasn't used to, I'm used to that leading nowhere. Okay, so... See here. What you're meant to do is... Break it. Bring it out. And then repair it. But I don't know Reparo yet, so I can't exactly do that. Not yet. Uh, is here what I was thinking of? Yeah. Bring it to me. There we go. And there's one over here. Get out of my way, Ronald. Oh, I don't care. There we go. Stop squirming. Get out of my way, boy. It's locked. Oh. Oh, right. Door's locked, is it? Ah, uh, I'll... Let me unlock it. The curve just not. You couldn't open the door, could you? Ron, don't invalidate Nick's help. Why was it locked in the first place? Thanks, Nick. Not at all. Anything I can do, just give me a yell. Anything. Having a ghost on hand would be pretty fucking handy, honestly. All right, let's go. Uh, I'm gonna do all the dueling here, by the way, because I need to prove how garbage it is. I can't skip anything, by the way. 
Oh wait, we can't do the, the super OP um, instant win duel tactic just yet. We need to keep playing, actually. We need to actually beat more fucking uh, dueling clubs. Come on, Ron. <laughs> you can also use uh, Protego, Levy Corpus, a few other things. Um, the main tactic you use to like instant win duels is just Expelliarmus, and then later when you can charge Stupefy charges basically so you just knock them down charge up a stupefy walk right up to them fire it they're dead they just they just die uh, i i literally mean just instantly even the highest difficulty duelists will will die after a fully charged stupefy hits them from uh being knocked down anyway i like opening with expelliarmus it's kind of reliable you're getting a bit close aren't you ron it's a bit... Here we go. Now you just... And now you just win game. And now we just win game. The music for dueling is really good, but unfortunately uh, the, the track I like doesn't play during this duel. Oh, here it is. This is the track. I really like this music. Okay, back off now. Give him some room. I mean, this, again, I'll give it credit. This dueling is infinitely better than Order of Phoenixes, but it is just easy. Especially when you can just do this. And then later, when you get the charge spells, you just... You just instant win. Thanks, Ron, I guess. You dickhead. Oh yeah, all the mini games have this grading system. I forgot about that. I almost always get five stars, but it's not hard. Well done, Harry. I am proud to welcome you to the Gryffindor Dueling Club. Y you'd, you'd be an idiot to not invite Harry Cunting Potter to your dueling club. Yeah, over there. So, I'm pretty sure the way we unlock charging spells is by doing all the shit for all the dueling clubs. I'm pretty sure you get it from like the. Hufflepuff Dueling Club, which we can actually do, like, soon. So we're gonna just do all these. Because the these are fairly easy. <laughs> but, I, but I mean, when we get the charge ability, it becomes trivial. <laughs> Why does this bitch have, like, one-tenth the health that fucking Ron did? Like, seriously. Get expelled the arms, bitch. The Gryffindor Dueling Club is the only one where, like, the announcer doesn't just go, like, the, Our champion versus Harry Potter! With with the Gryffindor Dueling Club, it's just, I give you Harry Potter, he's going to win now. Watch him win. He's going to win. Look at the boy. Look at the boy win. Yeah, look at me win. Look at this. Look at this shit. Look at this shit. You beat her fair and square. All you did was spam Expelliarmus and Stupefy. The only two spells you currently know. I'm trying to do Expelliarmus, and my fucking controller is refusing me. Oh, okay, we both hit each other. We need to take on the house champion to become a new champion. Then, then let's start, start the duel. duel. Also, everyone has Harry's wand for some reason. I guess they couldn't be asked making a separate model for other people's wands. You know what? No. This is my side now. I, I claim this side. This is this is my side. You're not allowed. Uh, also, massive downside from Order of the Phoenix. Uh, you can't practice dueling spells in the corridors here. Big rip. You can only use dueling spells while in duels. Big rip. But um, the the, the potion mini game kind of makes up for it. I'm coming here now. Yeah, the qu the quality of all the other shit you can do makes up for the fact that you can't just raise a kid by his ankles in the middle of the corridor like in between classes funny but i think it's worth it anyway that's how easy it is just without even charge shit it becomes way easier once you get the charge shit oh yeah that happens too hey, dumbledore asked me to give this to you how did you get in such a mess we've been dueling well honestly it would only take you two seconds to straighten up afterwards dumbledore says he likes 
acid pops. Huh? huh? It's the password. Dumbledore is going to give you private lessons this year. He'll probably want to teach you some really advanced defensive magic because of the. No. Come on, Ron. I'll help you with that defense against the. Oddly Dark enough, he should have, but no. Yeah, right. But also, oddly enough, it is a school, and Dumbledore hires teachers to teach the kids stuff. So by technicality, he's not really required to. <laughs> if I'm being perfectly honest. Anyway, he's right here. Time to see the horrendous Dumbledore model in this game. Good evening, Harry. You got my message, I see. There it is. What you see before you are memories. In this case, pertaining to one individual, Voldemort. This contains the memory of the day I... Also, uh, Order of Things actually lets you participate in the OWLs and actually, like, do classes and stuff to get grades for OWLs, which is... It's it's interesting and really fun that they added it as a side thing, but ultimately I had gone not not fun. And uh, half the prince doesn't have that. I wish they did, and then they could improve on it, or at least attempt to. You can do magic. You can do magic. Is there anything in that box you ought not to have? Thievery. He's intolerant. And worse. and worse, yeah. So, um... We can learn much about Lord Voldemort. Yes, Harry. Professor Slughorn likes the company of the famous, the successful, and the powerful. He collects them. And you'd like him to collect me? Yes! Getting close to Professor Slughorn... <laughs> Gambon's delivery of that line was now, perfect. <laughs> yes! Yes! Give it to me! Clark Kent, thanks for the follow. You bumped me up to 100 followers. Cheers, man. Mr. Cheers, Suit Man. Love you, man. Appreciate you, man. Hey, you losers from the Gryffindor loser team. You must have heard me just be like, oh yeah, Tom, Tom Riddle as a kid Let's used to ta anything. torment and torture little children, and you're like, oh yeah, this is a follow. Brazil. Good on ya. Losers. I don't know what time it is in Brazil, but here it's like 4 a.m. Fucking magic in this game. Like, Order of the Phoenix made a really good magic system, and then this improved on it. I really like the magic system. This. Um, Goblet of Fire's magic system is super easy and super simplified and super dumbed down, but it's enjoyable, at least for me. Apparently most people hate it, but hey. But hey. The Goyle. What? Have the Aurus decided to close this again? Oh dear. How are you going to get to your Gryffindor trials? You shut this? Yeah. See you. Losers. Oh, we learn Reparo now. Going to get to Quidditch now. Yeah, she's about to teach us how to use Reparo. You'll have to fix the lever. Reparo should do the trick. Reparo should do the trick. Reparo. Okay, and yeah, and now she's gonna levitate over to there. Just don't teach me the mechanics. Just show me the mechanics. Great. That'll show Goyle and the others. Wingardium Leviosa. I wonder if we got Olivia Olivia sort of actually work on a lever. Oh no. Well done on raising the court colors. If you <laughs> You did basic magic. Good job. That port colors, Potter. You were a bit stupid. Let's see you run your stupid Gryffindor trials when you've been stupefied. Let's see. What's that? What did you say? 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 Oh, you actually protegoed me, you little, you little cunt. Get fucked on. Get fucked on. Get fucked on. Pitches. Oh. Hit Goyle, please. Oh no, Katie's gonna show me where the pitch is. If you have, like, an NPC directing- I love this. If you have an NPC directing you and you summon Nick, Nick doesn't show you where to go. Like, hold on, I gotta ban that bot. Nick doesn't show you where to go, he just fucking, um, he just has a conversation with you. Like, Ron will be directing you somewhere, and then you summon Nick, and, and, and Nick's just like, Ah oh, yes, I remember back in the day, oh, this is a good time. And then later on, when Ron gets, um, love potioned by Lavender, uh, if you, you, you control Ron at that point, and if you summon Nick, um, 
Ron will be like, where's Dramilda? And Nick will be like, oh, she's in the Great Hall. And Harry's like, no, 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 no. She, she's in she's in Slughorn's office. I swear, I swear, I swear. Nick, Nick, mummy, Nick. And then, then Harry's like, Nick, go away. And then if you keep summoning Nick after that, Ron will just scream Ramilda's name and then Nick will go away. So you just summon Nick and then and then Ron goes, Ramilda! And then Nick just goes. Just freaked out, I guess. Ramilda! Alright then! I think you could introduce me to your friend Granger. Wouldn't mind uh, getting to know her on a first name basis. Know what I mean? Come on, Harry. Can you fuck off? Look at <laughs> Ron's face of just sheer disgust. Fantastic. Uh, right, thanks for coming. This morning I'll be putting everyone through a series of challenges to select Gryffindor's Quidditch team. Uh, Ginny Weasley is an absolute this, top, by the way. Just because you made the team last year does not guarantee you a Because G Ginny is just... Oh, yeah. is Ginny is so much woman. Dense? He's the captain. Doesn't mean he's still a good seeker, does it? Maybe he got injured fighting all those Death Eaters before summer. Maybe he's lost his edge. Go on, Harry. Show them how it's done. You put on a good enough show. I'll make the Clagon eat his bread. <laughs> Ginny is too much woman, and I love her, genuinely. Although, movie Ginny sucks dick. Because there's, like, no character development for her. But in the books, it's like, oh, look at all this character development. This is all fantastic. Anyway, this is a practice game of Quidditch. I'm pretty sure we have to play an actual game in a second. Which is why we're wearing these clothes. And I kind of don't like... I kind of don't like the Quidditch minigame, but it's fun enough, I guess. Could be worse. I don't know how I could be doing this any better, game. Go away! Go away! Fuck you! You're on my team! I'm sure. Yeah, there we go. I, I had an energy drink and I still feel tired as shit. I got a lot of badges. Badger, 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 badger. Hey, Ron. Okay, that's three each. It comes down to this last shot. I forgot Ron was a prefect. I don't know if he becomes head boy. Without and this, yeah. Okay, Ron, you'll go. Why, you're good one. like, in what universe would you, would you go for it, like, to reach for a direction, and then your body does the complete opposite of what you want, and you just kind of go, ah, that was my fault. Sister didn't really try with that last shot. That was brilliant, Ron. You did brilliant. Ron. Fuck off, Ra Lavender, Ravender, Ravender. Be ready. Okay. What's the first practice, Harry? Just look at the notice board. The practice sessions are on there. No, I don't think I will. <laughs> you see the clag? <laughs> well, oh, that I look of it. sheer worry on Hermione's foot. Sectum Sempra. Yeah. This isn't from that potions book, is it? One of the deadliest yeah. curses. And I found some writing. Or one of the most evil. It says the book is the property of the Half Blood Prince. Half Blood Prince. You should turn that book in. Just like what it thinks is a few lines that are just iconically bad, like, like Harry saying "Half Blood Prince" is one of them. Do you think Dean sees in her, Ginny? I don't know. She's got nice skin. Nice skin. Hermione's got nice skin. Nice skin. Hey, Harry. Uh, I need to. Uh, yeah. Yeah, me too. Me too. What do you need me for again? Could you get me some oh stuff? right, you cuck me I now. Right. That's right. I get hyper cucked. I'll make the shrinking solution for you. Then you can come to Hogsmeade. Because Genie's like, Genie's like, could you do my homework for me and I'll go to Honey Dukes with you? And then when you do it, Genie's like, thanks for doing my homework. By the way, I'm not gonna go with you. I'm gonna go with Dean. And Harry's like, get fucked. What do you mean you're gonna go with Dean? Dean's not the one who just fucking broke his back doing your homework for you. You're a cunt. Uh, now we have to make two potions. Hi, is this potions club? Yes. Have you come to join? I've heard you're brilliant at potions this year. Thanks, but I just want to make a shrinking solution. I've got to get back to meet someone. Sorry, if you want to use our equipment, you'll have to join the potions club. 
Okay. All you need to do is choose the entry challenge on the notice yeah. board over there. I don't remember what we got to make, but yeah, I remember that we had to make a potion first. A volubil- oh, that changes your voice. It's it's actually like a, a pretty funny potion because it's harmless. Some people just use it to play tricks on others to change their voices, which seems a waste of a good potion to me. Yeah, it's kind of funny. Okay. Dum be dum be dum. Come on, just a bit more green. There we go. Honey water. Honey water. Oh yeah, Harry does just have a habit of being very sassy when he's doing this shit, which is which is fine because it's completely accurate to the books. Harry is a sassy motherfucker in the books. And there we go. Can I make my shrinking solution now? I'm in a bit of a hurry. You were earlier. Oh, here we go. We get to shake. Stewed lace wing. Oh, I should fucking... I'm, I'm gonna change over to my Xbox 360 controller. I hate using the one controller. <clears throat> oh yeah, this is way better. Okay. Much more responsive. I hate how floaty it feels. Uh, that was strange. I couldn't move for a second. Oh yeah, this will be fucky. I forgot the control cord is weird. Oh yeah, here we go. Now we get to put put stuff. In. We haven't unlocked stirring yet. That's later. But you get to stir the potion, and you have to stir like specific directions and stuff. This game, this mini game, is quite a bit of depth actually. Okay, um, these, and then we gotta heat, and then we gotta add the purple one. Fuck. Oh yeah, this is so much better. Heating's- oh, well, fuck. Don't you yell at me, woman. Add the rat spleens. Add this. Add this. And then add more of the purple stuff and shake it. Add one of these and boil it to green. And we're done. Yeah, I, re I really, really love the potion minigame. Uh, I don't know why. It just tickles something in my brain that I fucking adore. It's easily, like, the single best simulation of what it would be like to, to brew a potion in a video game. Because Order of the Phoenix potion minigame sucks! And I can't think of any other game that comes close. Let me check out the board, wherever it is. What have we got? Kill for boils. Oh yeah, there's multiple, multiple pages. There's so much to do. Draft of Living Death, Girding, Antidote, Common Poison, Draft of Peace, Oculus, Wizard Weezers. Oh, you can make Love Potion. Po you can straight up make Polyges Potion, Euphoria, uh, Stamina Game, and Wigan World Potion. Okay. I need to piss. Hey, buddy. Yeah, hey. Oh no, it's crab, whatever. Looks like you're going to be late. Yeah, and then the Hufflepuff champion's gonna be like, wow, I'm impressed with this dueling you're showing off here. Can you teach us how to duel, please? Get shit on. Rotego ain't that good. This shit. <laughs> Eat shit. Eat shit. Yeah, here he comes. You couldn't come and help us, could you? I'm the Hufflepuff Dueling Club captain, and some of the students in my house could really use some help with their Oh, okay. Spells. Yeah, so well, we teach them Protego, 
but if we beat the house champion, I'm pretty sure we learn how to charge the spell. I'm pretty sure. And once we get that, we win the game. We win any duel we encounter. Like, instantly, nearly. Especially if we upgrade it. Oh, here we go. No, we're do we're good. We, we win. We win. We win game. We win game. We win game now. It is time to unleash the fear of God in this man. It is time to teach you why you do not fuck with us. I don't want to look stupid with this potion, so we're gonna just go. Because if we go, if we if we do the duels now, we'll we'll be carrying the potion the entire time. I don't want to do that because it looks dumb. And Ginny's right here anyway. A and now she's about to cock us, and the music will do a funny thing when she does. It's hilarious, actually. You wouldn't believe all the things I had to do on my way back to you, but I'm here now. Should we go to Hogsmeade? Oh, sorry, Harry. I've arranged to go with Dee. He's not stopped moaning since I told him I couldn't go, and now I can. Yeah, Dee, of course. The game's just like, what? See you later, Harry. Did I just get cucked? And Harry's like, yes. Go away, Hermione. What was that potion you gave to Ginny? You've not been making more things from that potions book, have you? You don't even know who. I was doing her fucking homework, Hermione. No, let's not do that now. Oh, we do that now. Okay. 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 Fine. 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 We can do the duels later, as soon as I can, actually. Actually. No, I won't do the Gryffindor. Well, I, I'm tempted to, actually. Here's Katie about to be cursed. There she goes. L almost killing her. Is that necklace? It must be cursed. God, Malfoy's attempts to kill Dumbledore were pathetic. Malfoy like, just, just pathetic. It was on Is that why you put something in his cup? Don't know what you're talking, know what about. talking about. Oh, we have to play Quidditch. Do we? Do we have to? Or can I? No. Cool. Okay. No. Nah, fuck it. All right. So. Harry Potter will face the Gryffindor Junior Champion. I wish there was a way to change your skin, like the model, but you can't. You just have to be lucky. All right. Let's. So let me just. Sh let me show you how to win duels 101. First, spam expel the armor. Second, do this, and and then and then just win, and that and that's the game, fucker. And that'll get you pretty much like perfect score. Yeah, see, six grades. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The six grades alone will get you perfect score. And, and I didn't really do much. To become a new champion. We'll do the Hufflepuff one because they make your spells more powerful when you beat uh, a dueling club. Which I don't understand because you have no incentive to fucking keep dueling once you have unlocked that. Okay, time to one-shot him. We win instantly. Have fun, buddy. Yep. That's just straight up. You you want to beat the game? Get him down with an Expelliarmus and then, and then triple tap him with a fucking Superfire. Superfire becomes so much more powerful as you uh, upgrade your spells. Thanks for losing. Get on the ground, loser. Harry Potter. Dashing Cadogan. Oh, isn't Sir Cadogan dashing? I to this day don't know who Sir Cadogan is, but I know this bitch loves him to, to pieces. Well, well. If it isn't Potty Potter and Weasel King, you're going to lose today, Slytherin or Supreme. Are they? To me, I'm feeling pretty confident. Okay, Ron. Yes, see you. Anyway. And now for you, Potter. Let's see how well you play Quidditch after you've been stupefied. Uh, you know, I was about to say the same thing to you, but I feel like I don't have to. Just get out of my face, please. Yeah. D dueling is that trivialized by the charging mechanic. Just that trivialized. For sure. Dun, 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 dun. Time to make me shit. By the way, this entire field here is the dueling arena. This is like one of the biggest ones. Go down. Be a good boy, mummy. Mummy. Oh, it's only the junior champion. I shouldn't be too harsh on it. I should like. I shouldn't even charge the spell away. I mean, if I've got the fucking time to, why not? I think uh, when I have the max upgrade, I can get like 3,500 points per duel, which is. 
ridiculous because I'm pretty sure five stars starts at like 1800-ish and is unnecessary. And it doesn't really like, it doesn't give you experience or anything, it is just to flex. It's like, I got more points than you. Oh, funny, funny fact, if you, uh, if you beat the Slytherins in duels and shit, like, <laughs> you, you, they don't cheer for you, they boo you. Which I find funny, because it's completely what, what Slytherins would absolutely do. But every other house will actually cheer you if you win. Time to beat the house champion and then get way stronger spells. Way, way, way stronger spells. So right now, a fully charged super fire shoots like three of those fireball things. Um, this next level will make me shoot like five, I think. And the final one straight up makes it so like if you start charging, it'll turn into one of those fireballs. Like, you don't even have to complete a level of charging, it's just if you start charging, it'll be a big fireball stupefy. The spells become ridiculously OP. Superfy? Superfy? Oh, you're gonna get fucked. You thought you could charge a spell against me? May. Yeah, so you saw that fireball in the middle? Like, just that it turns into that, basically. And now we've unlocked stronger spells. Alright, and, and then we'll do an actual match. Actually, like, actual matches are pretty fun for one reason, that's, um, Lee Jordan commentates over them, and that's pretty fucking good. And now we get Lee Jordan, which is, like, the best part of, the, of all the Quidditch shit, which isn't often, sadly. Also, like, the three-frame animation. No, like, two-frame animations all the people have. Oh, no, it's, like, three. Yeah, it's three. They don't respect each other. Here we go. Oh no. Fuck you. Fucking Slytherin. You move me, cunt. God. You're just expected to know the obstacle locations. It's ridiculous. I'm nowhere near it, Lee, but thank you for the encouragement. See, for a spectacle, this is kind of cool, but to play it, it's kind of trash. I can't lie. Go away! Oh my god, the fucking flags! Go away. Oh, I just caught that. You're a cunt. Fucking... Is it? I'm about to lose, I think. No. Go away, Slytherin bastard. Oh, that's a shame. God, this shit is so boring. And so unnecessarily difficult, I hate it. And unnecessarily unfair. For no reason. Go away. got it. I hate that. I genuinely do. I, I can't understand anyone who would like that. You shouldn't have done it, Harry. Felix Melissus is illegal in organized competition. I didn't give it to him. I suppose I should have just confunded McLagan and the trials instead. Don't worry. Your secret's safe with me. Oh, and Ron only thought I'd given it to you. It turns out he can make his own luck. Yeah, like this. Well, I mean, this wasn't him making his own luck. This no. was Lavender Brown making her you own luck. That's just Tomorrow. fucking. I forgot how much of a teen drama Half Blood Prince Ron. became. He can make his own luck. Just so fucking. Ugh. Just not great. Is it spring break yet or summer break or whatever the fuck it is? I forgot. 